Hi everybody, Jeremy here from v Studio and today I'm going to show you to use the Alation effect to emulate the film look in DaVinci Resolve. Let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now we're on the edit page and I have this clip of my girlfriend watching the sea and I would like to give it a more filming look. And now with the latest version of DaVinci Resolve 17.4, we can use the halation effect that you can find here in effect, open effects, and here halation. You can just take that and drag that directly onto your clip. Basically what a halation effect does, uh, it emulates a couple of things. It reduces the sharpness, it blooms the highlight, lifts a bit the shadow, uh, you also get some color fringing on the edges and it add also some film grain to just emulate basically a film look. Quick disclaimer, this is only available for uh, the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. For the free version, unfortunately, it's not available. So now let's check it out what we can do with this effect. So let's go over to the inspector and uh, here we're just gonna adjust some setting. So basically you have a couple of things here. You have the isolation, which is basically gonna determine in the range of action of the effect. So here by toggling view isolated region you can basically be able to see which are, are affected and then you're going to be able to select them uh, with the threshold right here from my understanding isolation basically serve as a way to select the range that's going to take the effect the area that's going to take the effect then if we go down to dial layer reflection it's basically uh, where you're going to be able to adjust the color fringing so the color fringing is basically what you see right there if we zoom in you can see right here on the edges we got a red outline uh, and it's basically some color fringing. And here in dial layer reflection, you can adjust the strength of that effect. You can also adjust the spread of it. You can adjust the saturation, uh, gamma, and so on. You can also uh, go here and fine tune actually the color of it. So right now it's uh, more towards the red, uh, but we could also kill completely the red and have it uh, green, for example. And you can play basically with the red, green, and blue channel uh, to have uh, the color fringing having a specific color that you wish to achieve. Then if we go down here, you can add secondary glow which basically add a glow to your clip but i don't really like it i've played a bit around with it uh, and i don't think it's the best i would uh, rather use the actual glow effect on top of it i think it looks more natural maybe it's just me not understanding actually how it works by the way if you want to know more about this effect and how to use it in the color page i will highly recommend you to watch the video uh, that wakas kazi has done on his channel about the davinci resolve 17.4 uh, update he just explained how he included it in his workflow and there is just very very uh, interesting information on how to use it in the color page right now i'm just showing you how to quickly use it in the edit page but it will be able to add like another layer of expertise as i'm not a colorist at all it will be able to just really give you best practices and how to use it best and then one thing I'm very excited about right here is that we can add some grain uh, directly from the edit feature. Here you can just uh, add some grain, adjust the threads, the size, the softness, saturation. Um, I don't know if we're gonna see much actually with the YouTube compression, so I'm gonna just push it a little bit. But here basically very quickly, we have something that is very, very different. That's what we started with. If we do a quick before and after, uh, you can see that uh, it just really give another look to our clip. It really looks more filmic and old school, uh, and I really like it. So here is a quick before and after. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.